to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel um, today I wanted to be doing some reviews on some makeup products and the first product that I want to talk about is the Urban Decay's Anarchy Face Tape so this is what the packaging looks like or the box looks like and on the back it shows you all the colors that you'll be getting inside the case um, and they also have a purple case too, but I don't know the name of that one. This was a Christmas present, so I don't know how much it costs. Pretty much it's kind of the same layout, except there's different colors in that one, so you might want to check that one also. So this is what the case looks like. It's a nice white case, and on the front it kind of has like a glass screen behind it. On the back up here, it tells you what all the colors are. So it has two layers. The first layer has all the eyeshadows in it. So these ones you have all glittery colors right here and then on this you have a matte right here and then you have a slightly shimmery black eyeshadow. Um, and then you have your this is the 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner and then you also have a really gorgeous, uh, it's called a Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color and this is probably my favorite product in here. It's a really gorgeous um, red color. It kind of looks exactly like the packaging um, with a little bit of like a gold tint to it, but it really looks like a really beautiful satiny uh, red color. And overall, it's a really beautiful color. I really love it and it's long lasting um, and it's got some good gloss in there. I went out to go have lunch and it was still on my lips afterwards, so it's, it has really good staying power. But be careful because that means it's also really hard to take off. Um, as far as the eyeshadow goes, um, I do like them, but it's... Well, the thing with me is that I thought at first it wasn't really like an everyday type of um, eyeshadow. However, since these are so glittery, if you kind of dab your brush off a little bit, it takes off some of the glitter so it's easier to work with. And also, when you blend, it doesn't look so glittery and shimmery anymore. It kind of turns into more like a matte color. So because of that, I actually do really like these eyeshadows. Because um, the first time I used it, I didn't like it because there was a lot of fallout. So I had to kind of work with it. So this is the third time I used it, and I have it on my eyes right now. And I don't know, I happen to like it now. Um, there is a lot of fallout, but you know, like I said, if you dab your brush, get some of the glitter off, it really works. And then also, um, I kind of, when I did my eyeshadow, I kind of had to put my finger under my eye as I'm applying my eyeshadow. And that helps to not transfer the glitter underneath your eye. Um, I haven't used this one that much, but it's a very, it's a very nice consistency. It's very smooth. So overall, I really like the colors. And the bottom layer, the pencil lip gloss falls down to the bottom. And then you have your kind of plumish, pinkish blush right here with a little bit of shimmer then you have a matte blush which is a little too bright for me and then you also have a really cool highlighter right here so pretty much um, what I really like about this case is that the products the blushes and the eyeshadows have a very good uh, consistency it's very smooth like feeling um, feeling very high-end like and even the highlighter is also very smooth so it's very easy to work with however I don't like some of the fallout that comes with the eyeshadow. The next thing I want to talk about is um, the Smashbox Halo Powder. This is what it looks like. If you've seen my past videos, I've talked about the Smashbox BB Cream, and that's kind of what encouraged me to get the powder because I really love the BB Cream. The original Halo Powder cost $65, so I was a little scared, so luckily I found the Try It Kit, so it came with this the foundation, the concealer, and a primer. I love the primer, I love the consistency of the primer. The concealer, I'm not a fan of, I use it on my under eyes today, but um, just really not a big fan of the concealer. And then the foundation is a really great foundation and I love the applicator, I love that. And um, that's the foundation, and then this is the halo powder. So the cool thing about the halo powder, before I mention it, is that it's actually a grinder, so you grind it to get the powder out. So it's not as messy, and it also has a mirror on the front, which to me is kind of pointless because it gets dirty with the powder. 
So for the foundation, it was a little bit too light. They only have three shades. They have uh, light, they have medium, and then they have dark. So the dark was a little bit too dark for me, and then the light was a little bit too light for me. However, when I apply this and then I put this on top of it, it blends it with my skin. The powder, however, is a perfect match for my skin. Overall, I really love it. It's that type of powder where it like starts to blend in more with your face throughout the day. It's just, I don't know, it's just a really great powder. I really, really love it. It really sets in my makeup. It um, has that type of flawless finish. I'll probably will be picking up the full size, which is about almost like almost twice the size of this. So it is kind of, it is kind of bulky, but I don't know. I really like it. Oh yeah, and the Smashbox product, if you look into it, it has those like anti-aging ingredients. So it's supposed to like reduce the fine lines and make your skin look a little bit better throughout the years. Um, or throughout throughout the weeks, actually. I would believe that because I've been using the BB cream and I think it really helps to enhance your skin throughout the weeks. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the Max primer that I also got for Christmas present. This is called the Painterly Prolong Paint Pot. It's just a primer for your lids and I happen to really really love it. If you're interested in picking this up I would recommend it. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. And this I just recently picked up. This is the one where it has the blush and then the bronzer. Honestly, I love this bronzer. I don't know if I said blush. Bronzer. The only thing I wouldn't like about it is that it does have shimmer in it. Um, but that's about it. It's super pigmented, so when you're using it, kind of be careful because um, you can pack on a lot of product and make it look too dark. But this is perfect for me. We have another e.l.f. bronzer which was just an individual bronzer and that was too light for me so I was kind of like hesitant to pick up another one but this one is absolutely perfect so if you're my skin tone I highly recommend picking it up it has a very great um, what's it called pigmentation and I put a little bit on um, so yeah and also with me I don't have right now I wanted to do a review on the Max Zoom Lash Mascara um, now I'm iffy on it because I just used it today and it did clump on my wait, left eyelash it did clump like almost right when I put it on I it was one of my favorite mascaras because the first two times I used it it didn't really clump I even applied it like three times so I don't know what gave now it clumped but on the right side of um, my eye it didn't clump so I don't know it's kind of it's a hit or miss you're gonna either love it or you're gonna hate it but when it works for you it happens to be my favorite mascara when it doesn't I'm just just like clumping and that was kind of irritating it has a very smooth consistency almost like liquid liner so that's probably why you have to be very careful when you work with it I don't have it with me right now but um, yeah so that is it for now uh, so I will be seeing you guys in another video I hope bye